And today what we'll be showing you is the aspiration or the removal of fluid from a ganglion cyst. This patient has arthritis in his great toe joint and due to that friction and pressure that that creates, an outpocketing of the joint has been created called a ganglion cyst. Now you can see as I move this, there's fluid inside there and it's what we call fluctuant where I'm hoping that as we aspirate this, we'll get a significant that amount of that fluid out so the patient will get relief from their discomfort. Numbed up the area around that area so the patient doesn't feel pain with this. Do you feel any sharpness as I do that? Okay. Once we enter the cyst, you can watch the syringe here. And you'll see that gelatinous fluid filling up the syringe. And that's a lot. That's a lot for a big toe for sure. So you can see there's already three cc's in there. I'm going to use the same hole because I know that I'm in that, that cyst. I get the, the needle to turn. Because once you take fluid out, it kind of collapses a bit and it's hard to get the fluid out. So hopefully we'll get some more out of there. He's trying to go for some records here. That's a lot. One more time here. Let's see if there's anything else. This is actually bone on the side here. I don't know if I'm hurting you as I go advance here. And sometimes the fluid inside the cyst is hard, so you actually won't be able to aspirate it, but we can poke holes in the capsule of that, and hopefully that will resolve that. Once I'm done aspirating or pulling the fluid out, I'll put some steroid in the space, and the hopes is that it will collapse the little source of that lesion. Looks like that's all it is. All we're getting is blood now. And that is the aspiration of a ganglion cyst. And you can see here, if I put down this needle, I'll show you that fluid. It's very gelatinous in nature. And doesn't always cause pain, but depending on the location, it can rub on shoes and cause discomfort.